Back during the 2023 NHL entry draft, we made a video about this guy and talked about how he was an analytical darling. The Montreal Canadiens put their stakes into a player drafted out of the KHL, who happened to be a double overage player, and who happens to be a very strong KHL athlete as well. Today we are talking about a guy who is so obscure that it doesn't even have a profile picture on Elite Prospects. Let's talk today about Bogdan Konyushkov out of Torpedo in the KHL. Now I was about to say the entire name there. But nah, I'm not trying to pronounce Torpedo's full name, that is a long one and I don't think I would get it right in multiple tries. So today we are just talking about Konyushkov because of the crazy start he has had to the year. Now, who exactly is this guy? If you haven't been paying attention to the NHL draft scene and the Canadiens prospect scene, you might not be too familiar. Bogdan Konyushkov is a 20-year-old, December 2002-born, right-handed defenseman. 5'11", 176, so he's not the biggest guy out there. Drafted by the Habs in the 110th overall spot. Fourth round guy. You could understand why he was taken a little bit later. He's a double overage prospect out of this year's draft. And last season, in the KHL, the guy had 25 points in 64 torpedo games, and he was half a point a game in the postseason. Add to this, a point-per-game stint for the regular team in the MHL, so the Junior League, and you had yourselves a pretty good profile analytically, which proved to be useful in order to get this guy drafted. We talked about this and more in the draft video when he actually was taken, talking about his analytics, talking about what he does well, and what some scouts were saying about Konyushkov. But the reason he is in the news today is because at the time of recording this audio, Bogdan Konyushkov has started out his KHL campaign with 7 points in 11 total games. 1 goal, 6 assists, he is on pace at the time of me talking into this microphone for 43 points over a 68 game KHL season. Konyushkov is one of the top defenders in the KHL right now at the time of recording this audio. The reason I say that is because this video is going to be uploaded a little bit later than after it's recorded, but he is in the top 20 for points in the league for D-Man. He's actually tied for 10th, but it's a pretty big tie right now. To help us out with this conversation, we're going over onto Montreal Hockey now, because last week, or two weeks ago? No, let's just say last week. Mark Dumont published a piece on Konyushkov's great start in the KHL. The article gives a little bit of a scouting report that this right-handed defenseman's skating is silky smooth, and though his decisions aren't always perfect, he brings an important element to the table, quick outlet passes and controlled breakouts. Most recently, Konyushkov was given about 24 minutes of ice time against Vityaz, the most among any torpedo player. A testament to how much of his coach, former NHLer Igor Larionov, trusts him. Konyshkov was also used on the penalty kill as well as the power play, a situation which is in his wheelhouse due to his versatility. Larionov's trust paid off in spades as Konyshkov finished the game with three points, including his first goal of the year, an empty net goal. Some analysts tend to discount empty net goals, but in my experience, it's a sign that you're one of the most important players on the ice and are trusted to play in the most crucial moments of the game. The article then talks a little bit more about Konyushkov and his other games, the other point production showcases he has had, but early on in this season, you just gotta go out there and think that for KHL production, this number of what we have seen so far is really strong. And if he's able to produce like this for the rest of the season and continuously maybe get 40, 45, maybe even if he improves 50 points on the year, that looks like a really good get for the Montreal Canadiens in the fourth round. And it's one of these things where the Habs sort of used a mid-round draft pick on a guy that was going to be a free agent in the future. As a result, what they're doing with this pick is attaining the rights to this guy instead of having him sign wherever. We had seen the Canadians exude similar strategies with guys like Raphael harvey Pinard, Arsene Kisamutinov, other players throughout the years who have been later round picks and who would have gone to free agent status. But because the Canadians drafted them when they were 19, 20 years old, all of a sudden the Habs hold on to these players' rights for the next few years, meaning that if they wanted to come over to the NHL game, they would only be able to sign with the Habs. 
So for a fourth round pick, I mean, the rights to getting a guy who could potentially get 40 points on the blue line in the KHL as a right-handed defender with a quick breakout pass and smooth skating? That sounds great. I mean, let's pretend that KHL and NHL play are equal. They're not, but let's pretend they are. If Bogdan Konyushkov becomes a fluid, offensively-minded, right-handed defender who is kinda small, what you could really do with this blue line in the future is have a Lane hudson reinbacher pairing, okay, a left guy and a right guy, and have a Guli konyushkov pairing in the second pair. That sounds like a pure bliss type of strategy. You don't want to put Hudson and Konyushkov together, two small guys who are both offensively minded. You probably might not want to have Reinbacher and Guli together, two defensively minded studs who are big. You want to split them up and have that versatility throughout your top two pairs. The rest of the lineup can figure itself out. I mean, Jordan Harris, Logan Mayu, uh, Justin Barron, other guys that could insert themselves into that conversation. But for now, Bogdan Konyushkov is taking over the reins as one of the more underrated names the Canadians have. Don't forget, this article in Montreal Hockey Now says, the Canadian's prospect recently signed a three-year extension in the KHL, which means his development will be out of the team's hands for the foreseeable future. The good news is he's already producing and getting regular minutes on a team that's currently ranked first in the West, an incredibly encouraging sign for a player who was drafted in the fourth round. So for Torpedo, good on these guys for having Konyushkov for a while. It's going to be interesting to see how the next few years go down because, of course, this is like a Matvey Mishkov situation with Philly. The Flyers don't have any control over how this guy develops, but based off of what we have seen out of other KHL teams and situations, as long as Torpedo in this Konyushkov situation does not do what SKA St. Petersburg did to Matvey Mishkov, we'll be fine. As long as Konyushkov keeps on getting minutes, as long as he plays maybe up to 24 minutes in a game, with three points on top of that. Like, you can't really project these things. It's difficult to find KHL right-handed defender gems who happen to be producing as much as this guy is, and who happen to be young too. I mean, the guy is only 20. It's not like this is the worst thing in the world. Sure, you could say, oh, taking a double overage player in the draft, what the hell? But think about it holistically. This is a 20-year-old guy. If the Montreal Canadiens drafted some random 18-year-old out of Russia, and in two years he became what Konyushkov is right now, we would have been happy about that. Hey, look at this, the draft, the Canadiens got this guy who's on pace to getting 40 points in 60 KHL games. But the Canadiens got him now. And sure, he's an overager, but he's still a good young player. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about Bogdan Konyushkov, a fourth round Canadiens pick who was really good analytically last year, who had some all right point production, but who has taken that and run to the bank and cashed out even more as this season has begun? He's got a few more years left with Torpedo before he's able to come over to North America. We'll see what happens by the time he's 23, 24 years old. If he's able to be like one of the top KHL defenders for points, then this could be a pretty good get for the Canadians in the future. I know you could say that KHL guys, especially defensemen, don't really pan out the best when it comes to point production. The Ozhaganovs, the Zaitsevs, these guys haven't really made headlines for their points. But there are some players on the forward side of things that have made things good and have made the transition easily, like the Kuzmenkos and you could say the first year of Nikita Gusev, Kaprizov, Panarin, of course. So we'll see what happens with Konyushkov as his career goes on. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye. <laughs>